I heard through George Gruskin that uh, Rudy Valley was looking for a new format. And uh, so I got busy and put on my thinking cap and I came up with an idea for Rudy Valley. And uh, I found out also from George Gruskin that the producer of the Rudy Valley show, Vic Knight, lived in Hollywood. And I walked to his house. Uh, I couldn't tell you the address today, but I walked to his house, knocked on the door, and told him that uh, I had an idea for uh, the Rudy Valley show. And I told it to him, and he, he thought it was very good. Rudy Valley, meantime, had also come up with a format. And uh, so the uh, Big Knight uh, submitted both ideas to the advertising agency. And uh, they fortunately chose mine. And I was off and running. Well, it, uh, it was a pleasure to write uh, for someone as well known as Rudy Valley. And uh, in his stock company, I guess you would call it at that time, was John Barrymore. And uh, I was writing with Abe Burroughs, and we did uh, a lot of routines for John Barrymore, which uh, turned out to be audience pleasers. And uh, I've been fortunate in being associated with extremely talented people. A. Burroughs was a genius, in my opinion. And we enjoyed working together. We enjoyed doing routines for John Barrymore. And, uh, it was altogether a, a pleasure. Rudy Valley uh, wanted the, to take the show to New York. So uh, we all went to New York and uh, we had a, a two week hiatus due to the uh, Republican convention, I believe, which nominated Wendell Wilkie. And uh, during that hiatus, Rudy invited all of us to his lodge in Maine, which I had heard about but never dreamed I would get to see him. So Ruth and I were married then, and, and we spent uh, very happy two weeks at Rudy's Lodge along with uh, the other writers on the show. And uh, it was a great experience. We, uh, and Rudy became an absolutely different person when we went as his guests on the train from New York to Maine, and uh, he became, you know, he was always rather aloof, especially from writers who were not considered to be A1 citizens in those days. But uh, he was a very genial, charming host, and he personally saw to our pleasure and comfort, and each, uh, his lodge was on the banks of a lake in Maine called Lake Kizar. And each lunch, we would go out on Rudy's motor yacht and have lunch. And he would show movies and 
It was a wonderful experience. And as I say, Rudy became one of us. He was, he was a charming, wonderful host. And uh, then when we went back to New York and got into the routine of writing scripts, uh, he reverted into the very uh, uh, proper, uh, he, he, he changed. 